Hi, I'm Melanie, everyone. Um, I, I'm working on the FEM, um, but I made this demo uh, for Paris P2P uh, a couple months ago uh, for my Launchpad project. Um, I didn't think it'd be that interesting, but people kept saying it'd be really interesting. So um, here it is. It's a uh, uh, Rust lib peer to peer running in WebAssembly in the browser. Um, so on the right, we have um, just like a compiled server um, that's just like normal lib P2P on Rust. And on the left, we have the browser with really good web design stuff. So, <laughs> uh, so we're just, um, so this is the PRGIS, um, what's the local host? You don't get my IP. Um, and then you pass in its web sockets because that's the easiest one to connect to. And there we go. We have a connection to this peer ID, and as you can see, it matches. Woo! And then we have Gossip Sub, um, which is actually something I didn't have in the last demo. So um, we'll test with a message. So uh, hello world. And there we go. We have hello world coming uh, from the browser to, uh, to the server with WebAssembly. Woo! And just to prove that I'm, I'm still sane, I'll connect another peer. Uh, and hi, Juan. And there we go. And then even on the other one, we have hi, Juan, as well. So. This tab is using? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. About how much tell you that? Um, uh, so we got two megabytes for array buffer and then two megabytes of objects. Um, although I don't know if that's just like top level overview or just. Okay, about performance. I'm wondering if there's like code with something in here. Otherwise that is like ridiculous. Yeah. It means like a new tab and then about column performance. Uh, you block all my extensions, tabby. Login yeah, demo. Through megabytes, yeah. Well, there's two instances running, so yeah. Yeah. Woo. Did you, did hmm? you try to connect uh, into, I know, a bigger lib space? Um, well, <laughs> uh, bigger as in how? Like, I don't know, how big like. Or, Hundreds of peers? Um, no, and I have not connected to more than a couple connections at the same time. Um, IO throughput is also not tested or benchmarked, um, which is why I, whenever I try to do this talk, or not talk, it's not a talk, it's a demo. Whenever I do the demo, I, I put warning flags or and try to say warning flags. It's like, this probably won't be as fast as JavaScript um, because you know JavaScript is optimized and it has direct bindings to the I/O that the browser gives it. Um, so like it's not faster, but you have it now. Um, it is an option, um, and uh, this demo only works with Gossip Sub um, with a PR that has to be opened in the P2P Rust. Rust. Um, so you have to wait for that, but. Um, the previous demo does if it's just flood sub. Um, yeah. Oh, and package size. Um, I think I want to do that as well. Um, cargo boat. Uh, it could show you the dependency size, right? Yeah, but not for Wasm. Uh, you need to use Wasm load. Uh, I don't know if I have that tool. T something. T yes. Okay. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I definitely don't have it. Um, but uh, from some actually no, we have the output file in, in the district um, package Wasm uh, containing folder. 1.4 megabytes. Um, yeah, and that's not um, compressed or anything with gzip. So. Yes. 
Are you running was opt over it? Uh, yes, was an opt is being run over it, but yeah, it's not the piece of compression, so it could get smaller. I think I had it to like 500 kilobytes at one point. Um, so. How are the WebSocket bindings done? Uh, the WebSocket bindings are done with an awesome thing that someone else made uh, um, for, it's actually part of libp2peer -peer currently. Um, it's the WebAssembly, or yeah, uh, Wasm EXT, it's a cargo flag. Um, uh, Wasm EXT WebSockets, so yeah. Yep. Um, theoretically, you could have more transports, but yeah. Okay, um, that's the end of my demo. <laughs> Do you have questions? Will you be taking yeah. questions? Oh yeah, sure, I'll take questions. I don't know how good they'll be. <laughs> or my answers, I guess. Uh, so first, a uh, comment and then a question. This is great. I love this. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, now, now the question. Um, what are the downsides? Like, is there a maximum throughput this thing can do? Like, w doing this in Wasm versus doing this in Rust. What are the trade-offs? Other um, than obviously it's single-threaded, right? But yes, it's, it's single-threaded very much. So um, if you try to do multi-threaded stuff, it gets weird and complicated really quick, and you lose performance right away. Um, uh, I wouldn't like try to embed this in like Node.js and like have this as the IO like lip to peer thing. Just I no. <laughs> um, but uh, performance wise and throughput, it needs to get benchmark, and it'd be cool if other people can help out with that. Um, especially just making this like a fully fledged thing. This is very much a hacky project. Um, but definitely having like. Uh, yeah, benchmarks would be cool. Uh, and then we could start comparing against JS, and then um, we can make some arguments to, for and against. Um, doing more things as well, because you can do throughput, raw throughput of just like into WebAssembly in the browser and out of WebAssembly. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys.